Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Polygon Matic. Uh, Polygon Matic is currently holding really, really well. It is also one of the cryptos that looks actually strongest and that has one of more, the most, um, yeah, the, 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 I would say the best charts really. Um, this wasn't always the case. Yeah, um, when we moved up here in that wave one, um, that was the first impulse. It then came down in a wave A, moved up in a wave B and came down in a wave C. This year looked temporarily, this move from wave A to wave B looked at temporarily like a bullish scenario. Yeah, there was a time where we were like 50-50. At the time, we also did some swing trading here um, on the way up and pretty much caught the high here close. But then it was over and we started to head down. And then it became quite obvious to me that we would need to land in the range between 30 and 60 cents. So between the 88.7% Fibonacci retracement level and the 78.6 because we needed to get lower than this low of the wave A. And I think this became my primary scenario in January and it looked really, really unrealistic because we were still way above $2 when I talked about a 30 to 60 cent Polygon Matic, but in the end we did get exactly in this target area and that is exactly where we are. And again, only the Elliott Wave method allowed me to forecast this like six months in advance um, and yeah we did in the end come down you know it was still it was, I was myself still a bit skeptical here when we were around $1.40 and so on but uh, that last move down took us directly into the target area we had a bullish well not bullish reaction but we had a, a reaction to this target area and then we have been moving a triangle broke out to the downside also as expected because this triangle was an ABCDE triangle, an elite wave triangle, where you exit the triangle to the opposite side of the wave E. And all of that currently happened. And also this arrow here from the previous videos indicated the primary expectation, and that is currently playing out. Um, we have a few possibilities how this move down can be counted. I'm now showing here my primary expectation. Um, yeah, and in my opinion, we had here similar to Ethereum, an extended wave one, we moved up in a wave two, we came down in a wave three, we moved up here currently in a wave four, and this is now where the question is, is the wave four already finished? Do we develop here something like an extended triangle? Is this something a little bit more of a complex correction? Because it's not just a three wave move, it might be something different. So there's no guarantee that the wave four is finished. Um, it will be very likely that it's finished as soon as we get below 39.6 cents. Yeah, and we are very, very close. So um, if we make a new swing low, it will be very, very likely that that thingy here is finished and we will make a lower low and then move further down in that wave five. And for me, a target, a really, really logical target to finish off this overall correction would be the 88.7% Fibonacci retracement level of the Matic chart and that is at 30.8 cents here yeah, or 31 cents. So this is where I think is a good chance to finish off the overall correction. Um, we're getting closer and closer. Yeah, I think we've never been that close and there's really a good chance. But um, as long as we still are above that swing low of 39 and a half cents, um, it could still continue that wave four. And what are we actually doing in terms of the retracements? How much did we actually retrace in this wave four? And you can see perfectly, we reached again the 38.2% FIP level, the ideal target level for a wave four. Um, should we go higher here and move even above the 38.2, then we could even get to the 50% FIP retracement at 47 and a half cents. Wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, wouldn't be a problem. Even from there, we could then still move down only if we move a, a, above, you know, 47 and a half cents in the next few days. I could think that I might need to uh, look at a more bullish scenario. Yeah, and that is essentially what we're waiting for. But there's no point telling you now that the low is in if we don't have bullish confirmation. So we want to wait for bullish confirmation. Primary expectation at the moment remains that we're going to head lower and also that we actually make a lower low compared to the um, here below the 39.6 cent level. And we currently see here quite a bearish candle coming down at the moment. Um, just thinking what that could have been. A, B, C, bit of a, a weird corrective pattern here. I'm, 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 I'm honest with you. Um, this could still evolve to a triangle. 
we need to be a bit patient here with this with this pattern but clearly below 39.6 39.5 39.6 it's going to go lower and resistance is here at 45.8 cents at the 38.2 percent fib level and above that we would still have a chance to move a bit higher to 47 and a half cents in um, to the 50 percent fib retracement in a way for a scenario but if we go higher it might be something else bear in mind at any point in time now the low can be in here we made we made it into the higher level target area and we made it even below the low of the wave three everything i wanted and now it's really just paying close attention to any moves um because what i think is important to understand now is as soon as we make a first five wave move to the upside so an impulsive move to the upside that is when with the highest likelihood the trend will change that is when we need to be high alert and watch the chart and make our decisions because um this is when the trend is going going to change so at the moment um prime expectation remains further down as indicated on this chart there is a likelihood there will be one more lower low but please please do not try to time the market just don't because it doesn't work yeah even the low yeah when the low is in i'm not going to able to tell you right we are now at the low this isn't going to work and um, we have to wait for confirmation and that will be bullish confirmation after the low is in and by the way we're just moving below 40 cents um after the low is in only then we can really um see how the price is reacting and we can um sorry i'm paralyzed by this price at the moment as it's going down um no only then we can, we can get confirmation because we need the price information after the low to confirm if the low was in and bear in mind even if we even if we miss the first five ten even twenty percent it is still so early i mean we're looking here for medic as well um by the way medic is looking so good because it's holding still in this target area many cryptos already broke below the 88.7 percent fibonacci retracement level which you know it's not a disaster but it's also not great um and here for medic we just start roughly at zero go to the high go to the 88.7 percent fib level and a target for the next bull run would be four dollars 91 at least yeah and that is the 1.618 fib extension that would be for the wave three if it is a wave three it needs to make a new all-time high um then we look at this price level yeah as a minimum and that would be quite a, a bit of a move up wouldn't it so that's what we're looking here at for matic i think currently already my scenario is playing out we'll see could still find support at the low and uh, then it will extend this correction but this is now getting quite interesting so you with by watching this video you'll be prepared here for what's going to come um, by the way also from a just like a pattern point of view this is just something like a bearish flag yeah you're coming down here from a downtrend you're now consolidating maybe the market is even waiting for a fed rate decision tomorrow and then we have to wait what happens when the dust is settled um yeah so it could move sideways a bit but as soon as it breaks below 39 point five cents yeah then uh, we're gonna go further down okay that's my view about medic hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye